Here at IISD Experimental Lakes Area, we study lakes. A lake is likely something you take for granted. But have you ever asked yourself exactly what makes a lake different from a pond or a stream? Let's take a look. What is a lake? We can define a lake by looking at its physical, chemical, biological, and social features. There are five main traits we can use to identify a lake. One, lakes are inland basins full of water. Two, lakes can be large or small. Three, lakes have slow moving water. Four, lakes are complex ecosystems. And five, the definition can differ according to your culture. Let's explore each in more detail. Lakes are basins full of water. Lakes form when water collects in indentations on the Earth's surface. For example, when moving glaciers leave imprints or from moving tectonic plates. They can also be formed in areas upstream of dams, even beaver dams. Lakes can be large or small. A lake can be hundreds of kilometers long or be small enough to throw a stone across. Their depth can be shallow or be hundreds of meters deep, like Lake Tanganyika in Africa. While some water bodies are ephemeral, meaning they dry up completely during parts of the year, lakes are more permanent features. So ponds that dry up are not considered a lake. Lakes have slow moving water. The easiest way to define a lake is by looking at the movement of its water. How long does the water reside in a particular location? Scientists call this the residence time. In rivers and streams, a molecule of water moves through a location in a day, sometimes even within seconds. Lakes have longer residence times, often years or decades. Lakes are complex ecosystems. Lakes are hotspots of diverse plant and animal life with complex relationships. Ephemeral water bodies, like a pond that freezes completely to the bottom during winter, are not considered lake ecosystems because they can't support the rich biodiversity that a year-round habitat can. The definition can differ according to your culture. Lakes can also be identified by their social relevance. Lakes have always played an important role in human cultures. We've depended on lakes for navigation, recreation, education, survival, and wellness. Human experiences associated with a water body can help us identify them as lakes. So remember, when you come across a body of water, those five traits are key. If they're present, there's a good chance you're looking at a lake. At IISD Experimental Lakes Area, we study fresh water. Only we don't conduct our experiments in a lab. We conduct them on entire lakes. IISD Experimental Lakes Area is a collection of 58 lakes in northwestern Ontario, Canada, set aside for scientific research. It's the only lab of its kind in the world. Research at IISD Experimental Lakes Area helps us understand the effects humans have on the environment, enabling us to take meaningful action and make better decisions, keeping our water and ecosystems clean and healthy. To find out more, visit iisd.org ela.